Hi, not the best of days because it just started to rain, but I thought if I didn't do this video now, I wouldn't be able to do it at all because I've got to go somewhere. Anyway, for me, the new year begins when the almonds blossom. And down here in New Zealand, that's the middle of August, or the beginning to the middle of August. And this year, the almonds are blooming great. The almond flowers are white with a pink center. Come from with me for a stroll down Almond Avenue. I planted these trees six to seven years ago. They're the Monovale variety. They're self-fertile, which means they don't need another tree to pollinate themselves. They can produce a fruit and then a nut on their own. Their drawback is they have a very hard shell. You can see some up there. But they're very hard to crack. Oh, that escaped last year's harvest. You can see the vestiges of their hull. They look like a peach, which they're related to, but they have less flesh on the outside. It's yellowy brown, which you take off to re reveal the kernel and the nut. The monovale also has a bitter taste, hinting of cyanide, which it does have in, but you'd have to eat an awful lot of them to get any damage. The ones in the supermarket you probably eat don't have much of that because they're a different type, a paper or a soft shell almond. But the hardness of the shell means they're hard to sell. My neighbour was adamant that he could sell them, so he took a 20kg bag away. And a month later he came back with it. Couldn't sell them, he said. <laughs> they're very hard to sell. The nuts, the shells are too hard. So there you have it. I have to do it myself. I'll show you later. Of course, I could buy a cracking machine. But trees don't produce enough nuts to make that worthwhile yet. Hopefully they will, because I can get a nut cracker that could crack other types of nuts, like a hazelnut and a walnut, which I'm getting more of. So that's it. A little walk through the almond avenue. We'll go and see some other almonds. Right, well, in the background, you can see lots more almonds. A few peaches as well, but nearly all almonds so I do get a few but I'm tiny compared to the big producers California Australia and Turkey they're the ones who fill up your supermarket with soft shell almonds that taste a bit bland compared to these these are quite a strong taste here we've got frost that comes around this time which means it affects the pollination and the formation of the fruits so it's not ideal around here. Another problem I've got is water. It's dry in summer, so it stops the nuts developing and it also stops the trees from developing as well. You can see that I've got irrigation. That there, that spray jet there that can shoot the water around about a meter. That's when the sec this section's on. So I power, the, power it all from a pump over there and from that pond, that's the, the reservoir for the water. I have tried other varieties. These ones along here are soft shell almonds. Well, they haven't done so well. And that might be because it gets quite wet in winter around here and dry in summer. So the combination means it gets rot, rotten in the winter and starved of water in the summer even though it's got irrigation. All my varieties are grafted trees. You can see the graft there. They're grafted on peach seedling rootstock. Because the almond and the peach are related. The peach just has more fleshy pith, whereas the almond has a bigger nut. Here's a quirky fact. Almond, in fact, isn't a nut. It's a seed enclosed in a fleshy fruit. Now, to pollinate the flowers, you need bees. Lots of bees. California brings all the hives in. You can see the hives I've got. Little beehives over there, just in the distance there. They're managed bees. Brought in 
by Manuka Health and they stay most of the year here and in the summer they go off to the bush of New Zealand where there's lots of Manuka and that's where Manuka Health makes its money. So this is where they spend the winter, it's called an overwintering site. It's a win-win! My almond trees benefit and so do the bees. I just spent uh, a few minutes trying to see if we can find a bee. They're all at home. All the female bees that normally come out to do all the work are back at the hive, must be doing their knitting or something. Joined up with the men. The male bees, they just tend to muck about with the queen all day long. But it must be too cold today for them to come out. And that's another problem, I suppose. The big problem. It's too cold, so the bees don't come out, so the almond blossom doesn't get pollinated. There's one. He's just flown off. She's just flown off, I should say. Maybe they'll come out this afternoon when the sun comes out. Almonds tend to produce on a biannual basis, that means. They produce a lot in one year, and then not so much in the next year. There's another little bee up there, and I haven't pruned this tree. I tend to try and prune them a bit, so they're a bit close to the ground. This one's got a bit of a way from me. But it's a beautiful sight for this time of year, isn't it? With all the blossom on. So here's one of last year's nuts. And, uh, well, you've heard the expression, he's using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Well, I don't use a sledgehammer. I use an axe! Difficult to show you this, but uh, I use an axe because it's got a narrower in there, so I can hold the nut which, which, and then crack it. This concrete was my idea to uh, put the nuts in so that I could line them all up and then crack them, but <laughs> Unfortunately, I made too big a gap, so I'm making another one. This is before I, I go for a professional uh, nut cracking device. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at cracking it without holding it. <laughs> it didn't work. So uh, I put it on the edge, hold it with my two fingers, use the axe, comes down, and it just splits in half. And you get the little nut out. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the one you get in the supermarket. So, mmm, it's got a nice taste. Now, when you go to the supermarket, just remember all that horticultural brains, farming, know how, etc., etc., that went in to your $5 bag of nuts. Happy New Year!